I'm sorry, I'm stunned. The loading screen just said Witch's Ring and Witch of Isleth, and I just completely blanked out. Welcome back to Suladan Plays Dark Souls 3. Last time we fought Champion Gundir. I've gotta say again, I loved that fight. Although everything is eerily dark. Like, part of me feels like if I jumped off there, I'd land it in, like, near Manus or something. This is almost abyss level. Spook'em dark. Get me out of here. Better be, that door better open. I'm saying, if it was just a locked door for effect, I would be very sad. Misfortune. I saw something glow and something's glowing out there. I don't know anything about this area and it makes me so fascinated and intrigued and happy and I should probably switch back to my claws, but I'm gonna keep the butcher's knife out for now because I don't know what kind of enemies may be here. You look like a, a, a an An Orlando knight, and I don't I, I don't want a black knight? I don't want none of what 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 you don't stagger, and your aim is atrocious. Wow. That would have been the perfect opportunity for a combo. <laughs> yeah, because a backstab is... Ow! So useful when he's already dead. You really like those charged up moves, don't you? I love my great shield. That head is so happy with great shield. Okay, let's not do that. Let, let's not die here. Uh, Black Knight armor and ember. Yes, it is Black Knight. Okay, that's not what I expected at all. That reminds me, I have those dual greatswords, and I really, really like them. It's just so slow! Oh, I love it, though. But yeah, it's, it's far too s Oh, I'm sorry, I saw that movement, and I'm just like, no, no! No, I thought it was an enemy. But I don't know what's going on, I don't know what this play area is, and I don't know how it connects to anything, but I am happy. Okay, I would have been happier if that piece of terrain looped back in a way that was coherent and helped me make it towards the goal while still being exploratory, but it did neither. Um... What's up here? A trap! That head will have none of you, sir. That head said he will have none of you, sir. None. Well, shush while I go see what's glowing up here. <gasps> chaos Uchi Katana and Chaos Blade in one spot. Can't open that. It would have been the perfect place. You like turn around, and it's just you see Framp's face grinning at you. You have a heart attack. You just no. Soul of a crestfallen knight. Thought I heard a voice. That is not a good sign. Ah ha ha! I didn't do it. No. And another enemy when I made this jump. I gotta be careful because he could knock me off that ledge. A hornet ring. Um. <laughs> the AI knows that it's stuck and it can't figure out what to do. Aww. I was hoping he would just leap, leap off, but, you know. There we go. 
Well, if you ever dropped anything, that was worth it. Gorgeous view. Yes, it really is. I agree. Utter infinite blackness. The depths of the void. For some reason, that doesn't... For some reason, that emptiness doesn't weird me out. I don't know why. It just... Some things trigger it and some things... Don't. Wait a second. Did I just loop back around to the... This is where I started. Wait, that's that that that, that that's that's from Drang Lake. What? What? Giant trees were also known as watcher trees and their seeds unmask invaders. When used effectively, these seeds will help in ca help counter dark spirits. But that's from Dranglick! I want to jump down there now. If you're wondering why I'm so shocked, I was previously told that like Dark Souls 3 pretended Dark Souls 2 didn't exist. So I keep seeing things referencing Dark Souls 2 and being shocked. Because it clearly does acknowledge Dark Souls 2 exists. That's not the first thing I've seen, you know, linking to Dark Souls 2. So I am puzzled by that. I was misled. I was tricked. Ooh, candle. You know, it really would have made sense, but... Read engraving. Lothric. There's an item down there and I really want it. Yes, I know. I guess, yes, I know there's an item down there and I really want it, but either way. Sales lady, why are you over there? You know, no, coiled sword fragment? Hey, what's that last item? Rasta of Knights. Key item, key item, where's the key items? Why is it not a key item? It's not a ring. It's not pants. It's not glove. Purple gloves. Oh, that's a chime. Uh, I don't like when I find an item that I can't find, you know, in my inventory. Hang on. So what, what's with the item that I can't find in my inventory? That's annoying. Second, what are you doing here? Well, fancy that. A lost lamb wandereth in with nary a peep from the bell. Well, thou shouldst my purpose know. What can this old handmaid provide thee? Answers.
For those that don't know, I adore the Artorius armor, and I'm just I'm staring at it now longingly. <laughs> uh, it's heavy though, and unlike Dark Souls 1, where you know I could have my equip burden so high because stamina and equip burden were the same stat. Just gonna tip my hat and acknowledge that Best that's there. Not tarry long. <laughs> now I'm gonna go poke Andre. A hammer. Andre has turned into a hammer. Am I in the future or in the past or like this game plays with the time stream enough that I don't know. My sadness. You're weird. Why are you sadness? Also, where is the sword fragment that I picked up? Well, that was weird. Heisen. Stop giving me weird items! Said to be the eyes of the first firekeeper and the light that was lost by all firekeepers come and reveals the sightless firekeepers things they should never see. Okay, one moment. Okay, so. Equipment. Equipment. The coiled sword fragment should be in here. Let me find it. Oh, there it is. It's, uh, it's basically the aged feather. And apparently the eyeballs have to do with the quest line thing. And I'm not messing with that. And by quest line thing, I mean something involving one of the endings. That's, uh, out of my reach. But this is... Weird. Losery wall. Thank you, sir. Well, you didn't lead me anywhere. Well, okay. It would have led me somewhere useful had I not already found it. Okay, I'm puzzled. I'm a little confused because there are still area. There's still at least one area in Dark Souls 3 that I haven't located. Uh. I remember. This was years ago. Seeing a video involving it looked like a graveyard area, and it had the you know the skeleton dogs and stuff in it. Because somebody used it to point out to me about the the dogs had issues with the uh, you know warping behind players. Oh, that's not where I meant to put that. Come on, come on, no. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Uh, so I kind of feel like there should be, there's, there's supposed to be areas I haven't gotten to. And yes, I am confused. Who are you? Were you always here? You haven't given up yet. Then you're a brasher lad than I thought. You can make better use of this. Heavy gem. I don't need it. Not now I've flown the coop. <laughs> Are you telling me you're crazy? The undead legion of Farron is a caravan of undead, sworn by wolf's blood to contain the abyss. The legion will bury a kingdom at the first sign of exposure. Joyous bunch, really. Gaining admission to the Legion is a matter of some ceremony. Inside their keep, snuffing out the flames of three altars opens the door to the wolf blood. Even accursed undead want to believe they're special, it seems. I pity the sorry souls. <laughs> Don't tell me you have a rant for every single boss that I've beaten. Gaining admission to the evil life. Okay, that is not. That is good. Um. Ah. 
how may I? Oh, so I already have the tower key. Ashen uh, there is a tower behind the shrine. It's a door that I've never gone through. I think I bought the key ages back and I just didn't do anything with it. And I... Okay, I don't remember where it is. Uh, hey, look, it's her. It also occurs to me that... That's just that. Uh, there was the door up over here in the other version that didn't give me the option to open it. Oh, hang on. Have I just never been up here? Uh, this door, but in the other version. See, it does not open from this side. How do I get over there? I'm going hazard, I'm to hazard a guess that it ties to this bell tower key thing. Come on, stamina. Yeah, I have no idea how to... How to whoa, whoa, whoa. It was... There's some shiny, shiny dirt under there. has yet to fall. If it works anything like Dark Souls 2, it requires you to be invaded so many times before you can get another seed. Uh, I'm also not sure why there's a fog wall there. That one's puzzling. I'm a little bit lost. A little bit. I'm a lot of bit lost. I know I have found the... Ooh, now you're lit up. Uh, I know I have found that door before. Is this the exact same message? Also, okay, doggo. Remember? Um. through because I have that key now. Oh, button, that's why. I don't think I can get across there, but... Oh, yes, I can. No, oh, it doesn't lead me anywhere I couldn't already get. Okay, apparently it's... it's... Ooh, little item. East wet. What? What? Are you mad because I took the shield? Alright. How'd that work out for you? East west shield. Wooden shield decorated with ancient symbols to an enemy close to a small shield size. That's it. Okay. Uh. Well, that's that's one way to get rid of an embering.
kidding me while I go regain that. Um. Don't tell me. Uh. Oh, okay, there we are. Yeah, apparently you can't go out the door unless you're embered. That doesn't make any logical sense to me, but I will roll with it. Everything got really slow. Okay, it said it said it's linked next to where the tree of giants is. So okay, there's a staircase here I didn't know about. Use tower key. Flirping wings. The gargoyles are after me. Wouldn't surprise me. Dashing through required. But well now I want whatever's going on down here. This seems very familiar. To like the uh, the Tomb of Giants and the Rat King and all that. That's just right. Ring crafted from Estes Shards. So, trusted to a certain firekeeper at the end, she never met her champion, and the ensuing tragic farce became a favorite tale of the masses. Yes. I said if there was a ring for the Estes Shard. I mean, Estes is... I would be... very... Yes. Very yes, yes, yes indeed, much yes. I don't know what's, what's up with you guys, but you can just stay over there and be grumpy. So what am I doing? I feel like I'm just kind of randomly ramble-wandering around a game, avoiding its... Eventual end. I love Dark Souls 3, don't get me wrong. Uh, I do know there's at least one more boss for me to face. And I am aware that this game, more so than the pri previous two, have a lot more ending variations. Some of them very minor variations on larger things, but, you know. What killed you? You jumped off. I don't have to go out there. What am I doing? Okay, maybe I do. That's some weird shenaniganry going on there. I don't know if it's actually tied to the, the embering or whether that's just delaying me long enough and maybe it's like it has a load time or something. Oh, I love the Estus ring. Why did I not have that eons ago? Okay. Okay, it is. You are supposed to jump, so, you know, just made sure that I wasn't wasting time. Any more so than usual. I do think that this is kind of 
This right here, making me Estus just to get out of the tower, is offensive. I don't understand, like, I'm sure thematically there's something they're trying to portray there. But it annoys me. There's a reason it annoys me, and it's mainly because you've tied me getting this item to how many S how many, uh, I was gonna say Estuses, how many Ashen Ember thing of whose it's I have. And the time sink. I wouldn't. I'd be annoyed even if. <sighs> annoyed is a strong term. It would be. Because that's obviously what I wanted. It would frustrate me to have to run this whole way for what is, in effect, an extremely tight. You must be exactly aimed at this precise angle of a jump. Move, you stupid fog wall! This offends me greatly. Hey. Having to waste an ember every time I want to attempt this is in of itself aggravating. Okay, so apparently you're not supposed to jump. You're supposed to just kind of run straight at the corner. No other area in the game is bothered by having an annoying fog wall delay me from going through it. For no, like, literally one that serves no... It's not blocking a boss or anything. Unless the world is the boss. You know, with some platformer games, the world is more threatening than the boss. Aha! You know what? I'm putting a message. I'm putting a message. Could this be a trap? <laughs> Could this be a trap? Yeah, that, that sums up my feelings right now. Dang item. Goodness. If you put my blood stain on that trap, I would burn it all down. Robe worn by the guardian of the shrine. Yeah, slightly true. Why is it so heavy? I feel like they really lost the balance. That is not what, uh, like they at some point lost their balance in weighting objects. Like used to there was like wearing robes wasn't. I don't know. It just seems like everything is heavy now. I don't know, maybe that's the point. Maybe they want you to have to invest in your encumbrance to actually do things. Or maybe they just want everybody to run around with no pants on. Because, you know, I barely get to wear pants. And still be... Yes, I know I'm, you know, wielding a heavy shield, but that... that the shield by itself... Shouldn't... I mean... 
Very phrase. The robes weigh as much as armor. You know, generally robes should be weighing a lot less, like two and three, but what instead has happened is they've just magnified the weight of everything. Like, that one makes sense, but, like... See, there's something that's pretty lightweight. I'm not gonna wear it, but, you know, point, point being that the robe shouldn't weigh more than the leather armor. The average robe should not weigh more than the leather arm. Excuse me. I saw a ladder. I thought I saw a ladder. <laughs> Sorry, friend. What? Be more careful. By the gods, curiosity is gonna kill you, kittens. Oh! Patches! Some places are better left alone, you know. Oh, sorry. Am I a tad too late? <laughs> too late for what? Have no fear. There's beauty in death. Besides, you're surrounded by ladies. Every man's dream, right? What? <laughs> Are you trying to say that you locked me in? Oh. No matter. I'll look after things. By stripping every last trinket off your corpse, you're gonna make some lucky customer very happy. <laughs> Is that the joke they're... Yeah, that's the joke they're making. Oh, but you... Is either... I don't know. I'm never... Like, there's no way I'm gonna be lucky enough to survive this. Like, this would be the one time I fail. I don't even care that I didn't get the bloodstone. <laughs> I survived the fall. Our patchetons. Yeah, now I was willing to overlook your little quirks, but now you've openly threatened me. Actually, no, if I'm going to be fighting him, I want the butcher's knife because that makes rolling away harder for them. Okay. The layout of this place bothers me. It's backwards to what I keep thinking it is. Don't stand on stairways like that, Mr. Spookum. You almost got smacked. More patches. Patches, you really stink at, you know, finding and killing people. This is gonna kill me, but... Well, that gets rid of the bloodstains, so I don't have to care anymore. The sheer number of these little things I have wasted. Let me out of the building. There is no point in this. this. This, like, legitimately just seems stupid. The fact that I can't leave without being embered. I don't... I would accept it if an NPC pointed it out and, like, explained... Oh, once they enter, the, the Ashen Ones cannot leave without being embered. Or, you know, whatever. Give me some legitimate in-universe explanation. Oh, that's what I mistook for a ladder. Okay. A bell. A bell, you say? Firekeeper soul, that's peculiar. Not something you generally would find. Soul of a firekeeper, a pair of firekeeper eyes. Firekeeper preserves the bonfire, serves as champion. She said to have soothed and accepted the dark sigil which has tainted her soul, and her soul will one day embed itself in the bosom of another firekeeper. 
Okay, is one of the endings to do with me Frankenstein building a new Firekeeper? Because that's, that's kind of what I feel like you're telling me here. So... I'm just gonna say no, I'm not having none of that. And Patches is gone. I survived his attempted trap, so... Okay, now where is this? You... You... Me... Me... Pickled Pea... Me... Me... Bumperum... You're drunk? Okay, I believe it. Yeah, I know it's telling me I can leave it an item and do the trading shenaniganry that every Souls game has had for some inexplicable reason. It's the first crow that's ever named itself, though. So, I'm just gonna... But there's an item. You know, whatever, I don't care. I don't care. Is there an item in that chair? The chair has an item in it. There's an item in it. Skull ring. Easier to be detected by enemies. Derived from the soul of a soul feeder. A beast that insatiably absorbs souls to feed its own power. Even after its accursed corpse was burned, it said the pungent stench of souls left the air permanently stained. Okay, that that's a thing. Um. Okay. Okay, this is kind of near where that other boss is, by the way. I guess we'll be dealing with that next time, because I think today's wanderings have taken up pretty much the whole episode. So... I don't know what's going on in most of this. Dark Souls 3 has had a very perplexing story thus far. So... I know there's a covenant I need that is linked to this area. And I know there's a boss in this area. Long story short, well, it's not really a long story. Basically, back when I was still early on in the game, when I beat the Abyss Washers, there's an ominous sound. Ah. Uh, Stop being ominous, game. Basically, I, I, di I did some co-op on... I'm trying to remember. This isn't where I was trying. No, this is where I was trying to go. Basically, I had a summon sign over there. And somebody summoned me, and instead of going this direction, they took another direction, and it led them to a boss that I didn't know about. And yeah, that's, that's going to be what we deal with next time. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here. I will see you next time.